In this video, we're going to walk through how to create a video project in WeVideo. So we're going to start by going to WeVideo.com and we're going to get to the, the login screen. We want to make sure that we're logging in with our school Google account. This will allow us to access the paid version of WeVideo. It may ask you to verify your Google credentials, but once you're in, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. I have a lot of projects in my account, yours will probably be blank, but we're going to get this create new box. So we're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to start by creating a project. You want to give your project a name, so senior English project. You can add a description if you'd like, but it's not required. And then you can choose if you want a personal project, if you're the only one working on it, a collaborative project, if you would like multiple members to be able to contribute to one project, or a shared project. For this one, we're going to choose a personal project and click Next. You may not have any media to add at this point, which is fine. You can click Next. And we're going to create the video. This is the Wii Video editing screen. You're going to have an opportunity to bring in media to this section, which can be dragged into the video and audio lines to create your video, and it'll preview in this upper right hand corner. To add media to your Wii Video, you're going to use the green cloud with the up arrow, so that's going to import the media. And you can browse to select files from maybe your downloads or you can access your Google Drive. If you're grabbing materials from your Google Drive, it does help if those materials have been organized into a folder. And then you can select multiple files by hitting the control button while you click, and then hit select to import those files. Depending on the length of the video or audio, it may take a little while for that to import. You can bring in MP3, MP4 files. You can also bring in still images. Once you have a video clip that you'd like to use, you can drag it into the video line and drop it. You can also add graphics. These can include maybe title slides or transitional slides. So there's a lot of backgrounds to choose from. You can also choose solid backgrounds, overlays, and frames. Once you've chosen your background, you can drag and drop it into the space. You can decide how long you want that background to appear by clicking and kind of dragging the one side and stretch it out to the length that you desire. In video one, this is kind of like your background um, video line. You can add things on top of it. Let's say we'd like to add some text. So we have some motion text. So if you click on one, you can preview what it does in the right hand corner. You can also grab static text or add annotations if you want to highlight something in a video or in a picture. So we're going to choose this title, and then if you click and drag it, you can adjust so that the length matches up. By double clicking on the text button, it will bring you to this option where you can change the words. You can change the text, the colors, the size, all of that can be done from here. You can even change the placement of the text by moving the box around. When you're done, click Done Editing. To preview what you've just done, just hit the play button. You can move your video and images around by kind of dragging and dropping them. If there's a section that you'd like to splice out, just find the place where you'd like to splice it and hit the scissors. You can delete sections that you don't want by hitting the delete key and then moving the sections you do want to match up. 
Going back to the media folder, if there's additional images or videos that you'd like to drag in, then you can just line them up. If it's red, it'll block you from adding it. If it's green, you're good to go. You can overlay video clips by double clicking on the video that will allow you to resize it. So if you're doing a picture in picture type of a thing, that's how you'd be able to do it. So when you're done, you can have it move, you can change the brightness, or this was where you would go to do a green screen. So then to preview, our video clip would show up inside of our video clip. You can change the audio in the video. So here you can change the volume. So if you'd like something to mute, or if you need it to be a little bit louder, you can adjust the volume from inside the video. We Video comes with some free music. We also have some sound effects and some premium music that you can choose from. When you've found a music clip that you like, you can drag and drop it into the audio line. You can adjust the volume or the fade by double clicking on it and bringing up this menu. You can also splice the audio by using the scissors and then deleting the section that you don't want. To preview it with the, with the music, If you'd uploaded your own music, you can drag and drop it into the audio line. If you would like multiple sound effects at the same time or multiple more video lines, you can hit the plus button. This will allow you to add additional video or audio tracks, and then you can name them if you'd like. To add transitions between video or pictures, you can click on this transitions button and it will bring up some options. Just drag and drop them between your videos and the transition will be there. If you want to get rid of a transition, you can just click on it and hit delete. When you're all finished with your video, you're going to click finish. Give your video a name and click set. You can choose if you want it 480 or 720, and you can save it to your drive. Saving it to your drive and then uploading to YouTube is a little more consistent than uploading straight to YouTube, so I recommend saving it to drive as an MP4 and then adding it to YouTube later. So once you click drive and click finish, your video will process. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your technology integration specialist.